Try opening your mouth widely. If it feels painful or you cannot open your mouth fully, then it could be something more serious. This condition is called oral submucous fibrosis, which is a precancerous disease. This is more common in people who eat supari or arika nuts, pan masala or gutka and its products. But sometimes we also see it in elderly people who may not have used these at all. So what is oral submucous fibrosis? It occurs because of a chemical called ericolin which is found in arika nut or supari. Now what ericolin does is that it stimulates your body to produce more collagen which leads to progressive stiffening and fibrosis of the lining of your cheeks which causes it to become much more stiffer than it is and it gradually loses its flexibility. So if you have burning in your mouth when you eat spicy food, if you have difficulty in opening your mouth which may be very gradual but keeps increasing or if your cheeks feel very tight then it could be early signs of oral submucous fibrosis. Now as clinicians, we may find the lining of your cheek to be looking very pale with thick fibrous bands which are classical of this condition. Now this is extremely important because research has shown that nearly 7 to 13 percent of oral submucous fibrosis cases may turn into an oral cancer. So it is a precancerous condition. Now what you can do, the best way to prevent this is to completely quit supari, pan masala or gutka and any of the tobacco related products. Early cases of submucous fibrosis may respond to some medical therapies or mouth exercises but as it keeps getting worse, it may require surgery as well. But the key here is to get diagnosed early. If you can't open your mouth fully, don't ignore it, get screened protect yourself, completely quit tobacco related products because that is the best way that you can protect yourself. I'm Dr. Ajeshra Saxena, cancer surgeon. Let's fight cancer together and do like and share this video with your loved ones.